decision to make. About? Chloe Lane. Oh my God, please tell me you did not sleep with her. I think it looks amazing on you. I just don't know if it's a good idea to accept a gift like that from a guy who was just married two days ago. Rex and I are just friends, okay? There's nothing going on between us. Don't, no, don't look at me like that. There's no, there's nothing, there's no jealousy going on or anything like that. Why would I ever jump to that conclusion? Look, I told you. I accept the fact that I was a little overprotective when it came to Stefan. Right? It might not have been healthy the way I was acting. So you're saying you're done with that, being jealous and overprotective? I'll admit to you, I was happy when I heard that you were moving out of the mansion. But it wasn't because I wanted you for myself or anything. Of course not. Look, I never thought Stefan was good for you. Still don't. I never will. I used to think that he was the best thing for me and the kids. I thought he really cared about us, but he didn't really care when I found him in bed with Gabby Hernandez the day of Holly's funeral. Wait, that happened? Really? <laughs> yeah, that happened. I, I don't get it. I thought Stefan and Gabby hated each other. Yeah, yeah. I know they say that there's yeah. a fine line between love and hate, but... Come on. The guy framed her for Andre's murder. She went to prison for it. She, she was beaten within an inch of her life. How do you go from that and then turn around and have sex with a guy? It just it doesn't make any sense. No. <sighs> not unless you, um... Not unless you know the whole s story. Don't go down the stairs. Why not? Because... When I was wandering the tunnels, I started thinking. About? About how I shouldn't have shot down your ideas earlier. You changed your mind about the party? Yes. You were right. Margaritas would be more fun and hip. I mean, better than some musty champagne party. You were so insistent earlier. Yeah, I, I know. I... I... I have a tendency to dig in when I'm challenged, and I'm not very good at listening to other points of view. So what changed your mind? I realized that I owe you, Stefan, for giving me a chance. Uh, we're on the same team, right? We want the same thing? What's that? For Demera to come out on top. Glad to hear you say it. Gabby, I'm sorry for coming on so strong before. I guess I'm just still so angry from what happened the last few years, and I will do a better job of channeling it more constructively from now on. Well, I accept your apology, and I'm sure Stefan does too. Oh, since when do you speak for him? Ted, stop! You cannot leave us in here, Nicole. No, she can't. And she did. She's gone. Kate. Did you realize I'm Look, is it me? Or Nicole looked surprised. Surprised to find us in here. Yes. I think she was surprised, but she was surprised to find us alive, which means that Xander was lying to her. Because he led her to believe that we were dead. Then why? Why was she then? Oh, was she in a tunnel in the first place? I don't know. Maybe she thought our bodies were down here and she was going to dispose of them. Wow, oh, there's an happy thought. When she found us alive, why didn't she just kill us on the spot? Oh. Maybe. Maybe she didn't expect us. She didn't expect us here. Look, she didn't even have a weapon. So now that she knows that we're alive. Is she gonna. Is she gonna come? Is she gonna come back? Is she gonna come back to finish stuff? Just read it off the teleprompter. My job is to pronounce it, not predict it. Oh, 
Oh, don't feel so bad. Sammy encouraged me to tell Sarah how I felt. If you don't like it, just wait five minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, it isn't often that I agree with Sammy's advice, but boy, this time I do. So, you talk to Sarah? We're square dancing in no. Before I had a chance, Sarah and Rixley asked me to marry them. Hmm. Did it occur to you to say no? Well, I'm not going to do to Rex like I did to Brady. I can't do that to Sarah either. D Don't you think that Sarah deserves a chance at happiness? She deserves to be loved by somebody wholeheartedly. And do you think that's Rex? I hope so. Well, what about Rex? Doesn't he deserve to have someone love him with her whole heart? Sarah does love Rex. Not the way she loves you. Then why would she decide to marry him? Well, I think that she would marry him so she could get over the way she feels about you. But in my experience, that doesn't work very well. Of course I did not sleep with Chloe Lane. Why would you ask me that? 